Okay, hi, I'm back. Um, I have the curling iron plugged in. It's been a few minutes. It's hot. I have my setting lotion, my comb. Um, this wig, the one I just showed you, is still kind of wet from me trying to dye it today. Dye the whatever color it is. Um, so here it is. It says kinky straight. Um, I mean, you see the... I would call this a mink. Is it what they call a mink yaki? Kind of. Um, I mean, some hairs look straight. Some hairs are crimped. I don't know. It's mostly straight with some crimp, but you can see it somewhat. You see it somewhat. Um, yeah. But I like this wig. I've been wearing it for a while now. I really like it. This is like the, my favorite one. This is... I think this one is Indian Remy. It's supposed to be kinky straight. It's very long. Um, lately, I think that they're making the wigs longer or they're not measuring from the crown anymore because before they used to me measure like from the top or the middle of the top and down. But now I see that I'm ordering and then it's much longer. So I think now they're starting to measure from, they're calling it strand by strand or from the nape. Um, this is very long. This is supposed to be 18 inches and it's look how long it is for 18 inches it's very long so yeah i get on with straight hair i get uncomfortable if it's too long so i like to curl it or whatever but this one is really nice this is my favorite wig you don't want to take any color it's not tangling it's not shedding when i curl it you know the curls last a few hours but they start to drop and it's just really i really like this wig look how it moves no tangles no nothing um and the lace is pretty good too all right so this is the peruvian kinky straight uh i said it's very thick when it's not flat ironed right now i spent like an hour flat ironing it because it's just too thick for me um so now i'm going to try to curl it and see what happens when i use a curling iron but this one on the other hand it took the color so well and so quickly that I had to dye it again a darker color because it came out way lighter than what the box what the box had on it. So I use I'm gonna do two sides, one setting lotion, one not setting lotion, like the two little side pieces right here. That section should be a little bit thinner, right? But right now to me this looks like you know Dominican hair. I think Dominicans have the best hair. That's just my opinion. I think they have the best the best hair man it's like it's beautiful hair nice hair okay okay so this is with setting lotion the other wig that she sent me was supposed to be a yaki you know um she lost my wig and some um, the new wig I bought. So I never got to see the new wig. Um, this one's supposed to be yaki. The lace is too light. I didn't cut the lace on this one yet, but I did try to color. I tried to actually. I tried to do, to do two things to this wig. Since I felt I had too many straight wigs, I tried to give this. I tried to make this have a body curl. So I bought the perm solution and I put curlers in it and I put it in for the recommended time of 45 minutes I left it in for an hour and what I had ended up getting was a body wave do you see it it came out to be a, a loose body wave after I um tried to perm it do you see it It came out a body wave it was dead straight before like a yaki straight but now it's a, a body wave now I wouldn't call this a yaki, I would call this a light yaki because it's very um nice. I mean now as I'm going up, can you see it gets lighter? I did the same thing to the other wig. I parted the top around and I dyed the rest of it. But this one came out really, really nice. Like um I would say a number four or number six highlights and it, it's really really pretty. Um very nice hair and the thickness is a nice density wig i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it or or sell it maybe i should keep it 
for when these wigs start to die instead of having to buy another one and save money. Um, but it's very nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like, like I about the wig is it's not who I normally buy from and um I can see the short hairs on the top like if you're a real good wig maker when you're ventilating the wig and putting the hairs on it you shouldn't have the uh alfalfa short hairs on top like on this wig you can see it you see it on top with the part is you can see all the short hairs if they do a good job of knotting the hair onto the wig and the way they knot it if they get it right the shorter part of the not would the way they would make it would be laid the right way where it wouldn't be sticking up. Um, I do believe that the curl should cool in the in the position you want it to cool in. So I'm gonna fan it with a paper plate. It's still hot, so I don't want it, I don't want it to cool drop. It's still warm. Yeah, so I think my only my other the other complaint I have with her buying a wig from um another company, and I mean maybe I'm too nice, but like one of you guys probably would be like you know f that you know she melt someone else that's her problem. I'm gonna email the company or call them up and make sure that you know I get replacements or whatever. Um, but I'm nice, you know I'm nice, so I accepted her. I mean I know that it costs her a lot of money, uh, out of her pocket to buy two weeks to mail to me because you know they don't make that much money over there but this one really came out pretty i think i might keep it instead of selling it i'm not too sure but it came out so pretty the highlights the slight big body wave it has to it very very pretty the color oh my god it's just gorgeous can you see it the highlights are putting it all right let me go back to um well, these told me about the same company, so I'll put them next to each other. Can you tell the difference? The one, this is the kinky, and this is the yakky straight. You could see the crimp in this one. You see it more. Um. Yep, but it's nice. These I, I think I'll just keep them instead of buying more wings and wasting money. All right, so this hat, this side, this is the Peruvian kinky straight, which is the most realistic looking texture wise, very realistic and like the softest ever. Oh my goodness, it kind of feels like my daughter's hair, the one that you, the little one you just saw, like when I blow dry her hair. What it, it feels like her hair. Okay. So this piece I'm gonna do without uh, without setting lotion and see what happens. But last night I left the curlers in for more than 12 hours. Um, I think I put the rollers in the ones like this around um, midnight. I did it and I I didn't take it out till like three o'clock in the afternoon. I know it's very ghetto of me. I have a daycare in my house. Very ghetto for me to answer the door with the curlers in my hair. I tried to leave it on all day, but it was embarrassing because someone came around 2.30 to inquire about childcare, and I had the curlers in my hair still, so I realized I really shouldn't do that anymore. Um, yeah, I won't do that again. Maybe the 6.30 a.m. drop-off parent might understand, or maybe not, but at, by the afternoon, I shouldn't have curlers in my hair, so I won't do that again. I will um take out the curlers. All right, so it's starting to drop a little bit, you know, whatever. But for texture-wise, this looks the most like black folks' hair. Um, either you got a real good relaxer, or you have that hair that mixed girls when they when they blow dry their hair that texture or dominican hair that's what it looks like this week it's really really wow i love the texture of the hair just too soft it, it i don't know you might like that you might like that it, it moves a lot yeah um okay so this will be the one without the um setting lotion 
The lace could be a better quality. I don't know what kind of lace it is because now they have all these kind of laces. Some of them seem to be plastic. Um, some are more fine than others. So I think this might be French lace or I've heard about the now they're saying Korean lace or whatever. Okay. Um, All right, um, the one with sign lotion just looks shinier. That's about it. I'm going to nice. You hear the baby? He's going to be two this month. So, I like middle parts. Um, it looks better in the mirror, but you do see the lace when you come up close. Um, with this one. With, yeah, you see the lace. So, I, I don't know. I'm, I was thinking of maybe selling one of them and then custom ordering a silk top and see how that works. I like my wigs. One of the things I hate when they start to um, shed at the hairline and the nape where you have the tape, the constant pulling of the tape. So I don't know if I should get like a thin skin perimeter with a silk top to make it look real and also stop the shedding from the those areas. I don't know. It looks pretty, doesn't it? I feel like doing the whole thing now. I just I, I like the wig, but I just hate how um how long it is. This is my phone is ringing. Mommy. Okay, yo. 